And if I never make it, then at least I left to go try. 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 I said I would make Jesus popular But I ain't no gossiper, ain't no more stopping this I am the reason they started to copy us Haters stay watching this, can't even see with binoculars, yeah Told them I get it, it's obvious I am a star, no astrologist I am the truth, no apologist I am the one that you following I'm not the one that you wanted with, yeah Jesus is king, is a message hop, hop in the whip, ain't no stressing I come correct, no protection God's got my back, it's a blessing I keep getting blessings on blessings, yeah I spit the truth like a reverend God gave me strength through progression All of my life's been a lesson Now when I speak, you respect it Now when I speak, you're reflected, yeah We can be friends if you faking I'm on a mission for greatness if they don't vibe, I replace them Time's running out and it's fading God said I cannot be patient, yeah People are desperately waiting Heaven and hell will be shaking Angels and demons awaken Good versus evil awaiting Jesus is back for the taking, yeah I just picked up where I left it I done some things I regret it Now I'm redeemed and indebted Jesus is king, don't forget it Jesus is king, don't forget it I said I'm back on the go Go make them react to the mojo Rappers today just be so So tell me something that I don't know Tell me something that I don't know Had to get back in the booth God said to bring you the truth All of my soldiers salute My flow been so off the roof I blew the top off the coop Yeah, I keep the word on the loop God said to trust in the do I have a plan just for you Listen, are you who you truly say you are? Do you really put in the work that you say you're putting in? Have you really been true to yourself? Or are you just fronting for social media? Seeking validation elsewhere, outside of yourself, outside of the one person who should matter the most to you, which is you, right? Because at the end of the day, you can live your life to please others, but when you go home and when you're by yourself, the only thing you can think about is how much of a fake you are, how much of a phony you are, because you're not living the life that you know you want to live. You're not doing the things that you know you want to do. You're not in the relationship that you know you want to be in. So you could lie to us, you could pretend like your life is good, you could pretend like everything is going just the way that you want it to go, but deep down inside, you know whether or not that's true. So the choice is yours. When are you gonna stop lying to yourself? When is enough going to be enough? When are you gonna get sick and tired of being sick and tired? Listen guys, a year ago, I was 75 pounds overweight. Now I'm 40 pounds down, halfway to my goals. A year ago, I was living in a one bedroom apartment. Now I live in a three bedroom house. A year ago, I was running a business that didn't fulfill me. Now I do what I love to do every single day. So you guys see, I've been stacking wins and you've seen that I've documented the entire process. That was the whole point of starting these YouTube videos and creating this content was to prove and show that my program works, was to prove and to show you how I was able to change. A year ago, I was addicted to alcohol. I used to be an alcoholic. I used to down a bottle of whiskey, vodka every single day. And not a little bottle, the big bottles, the 750 milliliter bottles, all right? Every single day to the point where I started to get sick, to the point where I felt like I was gonna die soon because I just didn't feel right. My body didn't feel right. I had so much anxiety, so many thoughts about death and negative thoughts and why? Because I was drowning myself in poison. Now I haven't had a drink since December 31st, 2022. And why? Because of the program. Now how the program works is by setting up a training and nutrition program for you to follow. Every single day that you wake up and you do your morning routine that I set up for you, you're proving to yourself that you deserve it, that you deserve to change. Every time you hit a workout, every time you track your macros, every time that you complete all the tasks that you're supposed to do every single morning, you're proving to yourself that you deserve to change. You're proving to yourself that you're not that same person that you were when you started, right? And that's what I did. And of course, nothing in life is a straight line. Nothing happens overnight. You're going to fail. You're going to relapse. You're going to mess up a few times or maybe several times, but 
the point is to get back up and keep on going that's why i showed you guys everything i showed you all the times that i messed up i showed you all the times that i missed i showed you all the times that i woke up late but at the end of the day the next day i woke up and i tried again and the next day i woke up and i tried again and i just kept on trying keep on trying over and over and over it doesn't matter i never let the failures make me quit i never allowed the failures to make me quit i just continued to push forward and i knew from the moment that i started that this was going to take a long time in my mind i was ready to put in five ten years in order to make the transformation i wanted to make long view that was the first thing my coach told me when we started long view don't expect this to happen overnight it's going to take time You've been messing up for the last 27 years of your life. Don't expect to change it in a few months, all right? Don't expect to become a brand new person in a couple months, 90 days, all right? This is a long-term process. This is at least minimum 12 month to 24 month process. And that's just for you to lose the weight, drop your vices, change the bad habits, and finally take control of yourself because that's what it's about, self-control. Proverbs 25, 28 says, like a city whose walls are easily broken into is a person without self-control. So what does that mean? It means that you have no barrier of protection around you because you have no self-control. So anybody can just come into your life and influence you. Anybody can just come into your life and tell you what to do and tempt you with the things of the world because you have no protection. You have no self-control. That's what discipline is. Discipline is that barrier that protects you from self-sabotaging. Discipline is that wall of protection that keeps you from setting yourself back, that keeps you from getting distracted because you know when you're self-controlled, you have control over the things that you do. You're no longer a slave to your flesh. You're no longer a slave to your addictions. You're no longer a slave to the alcohol, to the food, to the pornography, to the things that pull you away from what you were meant to do in this life. And so at the end of the day, guys, I can't change you, right? Like I can give you the tools, but I can't do the work for you. And you can only really change when you decide to change. There's so many people out there who want to help their friends, their family, whatever. But at the end of the day, you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. And so if you don't want to be helped yet, if you haven't reached that point, where enough is enough, you're not going to change. I don't want you to get it twisted and think that this program is some kind of like magic pill because it's not. This is a guaranteed process that's going to work if you do the work, but it's going to take time and it's going to require you to put in a lot of work, but that's just going to depend on how bad you want it. How badly do you want to change? How sick are you of looking at yourself in the mirror and not being happy with what you see? How sick are you of not having the finances that you want to have and not having the relationship that you want to have, not having the physique that you want to have? Like, when is enough going to be enough? When are you going to get sick and tired of being sick and tired? Like, I know I was. That's why I hired a coach. That's why I got on the program. That's why I hired a mentor because I knew that I needed to change. I didn't like myself. I didn't want to be who I was because I knew that I was capable of more. I knew that the best version of me wasn't that person, wasn't the person that drank every single day, wasn't the person that woke up whenever he wanted, wasn't the person who was undisciplined, wasn't the person who had no self-control. That's not the best version of me. And so that's why I needed a coach because I tried to do it by myself and I couldn't do it. I tried for years to quit drinking. I tried for years to lose the weight. Ask anybody around me and even my family members for years and I couldn't do it. And now that people are finally starting to see the results in my life, they're like, damn, bro, what are you doing? You used to be fat. Like, damn. I just saw my cousin the other day, you know, for his bachelor party. And it's the first time I've seen him in several months. And I remember the first thing he said when he saw me, he was like, damn, fool, you used to be a torta, you know? It made me feel good about myself because it's like, he's not the first person to say that to me. I'm at the point in my transformation where people are really starting to see the change in my physique, where they're starting to be like, damn, bro, what are you doing? You dropped a lot of weight. Like, you used to be a little on the heavier side. You used to be fat. You used to be this, that, that. As somebody who used to be in shape for all of their life, I remember during that time when I was overweight and people used to see me, they always used to tell me like, damn, bro, what happened? I hated hearing that with a passion. I remember every time that I used to see someone that I hadn't seen in a long time, they would be like, damn, bro, what happened? Like, you put on some weight, huh? That used to irk me because I was like, damn, bro, really? Like, is it gotten that bad? Like, is it that crazy? Like, because I didn't feel like it was that crazy, but apparently to other people, from what they were used to seeing, it was. And it wasn't until I finally got sick and tired of being sick and tired that I said, enough is enough. And I started to change. With that being said, guys, if you're looking to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you're looking to change your life, if you're looking to drop the vices, quit the addictions, overcome, you know, the negativity in your life, get around better people, improve your lifestyle, improve your mental health, hop on the program, get on the call, and let's get to work. I'm doing this for you because I know that we need more people like me, more people like those 
that have been on the program and have overcome their negative self-talk and their negative addictions and are now helping other people with their problems and their struggles. There's a lot of negativity in the world, guys, and we need more positive people. We need more people to be that inspiration, to be that rock for their friends, for their families, for their children. And so with that being said, guys, click the link below, hop on the program. I'm excited to work with you guys. And like I said, continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this with somebody who needs the inspiration. And I'll see you guys in the next one.